Hello everyone, I'm Hunter, and this is Unexpected History. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. This video was initially due to be posted earlier in the week, certainly no later than Thursday, but I was having some external sound issues that just would not quit. Those issues seem to have been resolved, at least for the time being, but I do apologize for it taking so long. I hope to do much better in the future. This video is part of a series of ongoing, semi-regular stories Unexpected History is doing in order to bring some attention to servicemen who have received America's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. These men were, and are, among the most courageous people that not just America in particular, but humanity in general has to offer, willing to sacrifice everything, not for themselves, but for their comrades in arms, all too often losing their lives in the process. My hope is that watching their stories will allow for some reflection on what the men and women of the United States Armed Forces could go through, however unlikely, in the course of their service to the nation. Today's video is about Chief Master Sergeant Richard Lloyd Etchberger. First, let me preface this by saying that my pronunciation of words wholly foreign to me may not be entirely accurate. I apologize in advance for any mistakes, as they are completely mine and mine alone. Richard Lloyd Etchberger was born the 5th of March, 1933, in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. He graduated from Hamburg High School in 1951 and enlisted in the United States Air Force on the 31st of August that same year. By the 1st of April, 1967, he had attained the rank of Chief Master Sergeant. During the Vietnam War, Etchberger was among the hand-picked group of Air Force personnel assigned to a classified mission in which they manned secret radar installations in Laos. Unfortunately, According to the International Agreement on the Neutrality of Laos, the United States was not permitted to have military personnel or facilities in Laos. Thus, the personnel assigned to these radar facilities, which were tasked with providing tactical air navigation enabling night and poor weather capability for U.S. bombers over Laos and North Vietnam, were officially listed as civilian employees of the Lockheed Corporation. Etchberger was assigned to Lima Site 85 on Phal Pha Thi Mountain, even as a top-secret facility, the assistance they provided U.S. aircraft to allow for extremely accurate airstrikes, regardless of weather and light conditions, attracted some unwanted attention from the North Vietnamese Army and the Pathet Lao, which were communist revolutionaries similar to the Viet Cong. After taking several months to build up their forces and launch a number of probing attacks, a special operations unit from the North Vietnamese Army and a battalion of Pathet Lao initiated their final assault on Lima Site 85 with numbers, overwhelming the Hmong and Thai defenders of the base on the 10th of March 1968. Using a combination of artillery strikes, subterfuge, and months of reconnaissance, the defenses of Lima Site 85 were overwhelmed in what was a brilliantly planned and executed assault. Chief Etchberger, along with seven others who were off-duty at the time the attack began, managed to find a hiding spot on a ledge on one of the almost sheer cliff sides that encompassed three sides of Lima Site 85. All of the Americans on duty at the time had been killed. In fact, one of the enemy's top priorities for this mission was to kill all of the American personnel they could find. Eventually, the enemy discovered them and began directing fire their way. Etchberger, being the only man not wounded, was their sole defense. Although he'd had little weapons training, and next to no combat training, he picked up an M16 rifle and, quite literally, held off enemy troops single-handedly until a rescue helicopter arrived at first light on March 11th. Chief Etchberger continually exposed himself to heavy enemy fire as he assisted his wounded comrades into the rescue sling lowered from the hovering helicopter. He was the last man to be lifted into the aircraft. Miraculously, he'd not been hurt or wounded by the enemy at this point. As the helicopter moved to fly away, however, an enemy soldier emptied his AK-47 into its underside with a single round striking Etchberger, grievously wounding him. Chief Master Sergeant Richard L. Etchberger bled out and died before he could receive any medical attention. He was posthumously awarded the Air Force Cross as his Medal of Honor recommendation was rejected by the Air Force Vice Chief of Staff due to the classified nature of his mission. His sons were told that their father had died in a helicopter crash somewhere in Southeast Asia only learning about the circumstances surrounding his death some 14 years later with the declassification of the mission. That declassification led to the upgrade from Air Force Cross to the Medal of Honor Chief Etchberger's actions and sacrifice very clearly warranted. 
His sons were presented with the Medal of Honor by President Barack Obama at a White House ceremony in 2010, 42 years after Chief Etchberger's heroic actions and ultimately his sacrifice. The Battle of Lima Site 85 was the largest ground combat loss of life for the United States Air Force during the entire Vietnam War, with 13 killed in action. These stories always get to me, particularly ones about Vietnam because there but for the grace of God go I. My father fought in Vietnam, and though he doesn't talk about it much, quite understandably, he could easily have been one of the 47,434 American service members who died in combat there. Even though it seemed, at least to me, that I tended to have a greater awareness about the Vietnam War than my peers, I guess I didn't truly realize just how lucky my family really was. I couldn't imagine what Chief Etchberger's family went through, especially given the secrecy surrounding the Battle of Lima Site 85. Again, there but for the grace of God go I. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a like and subscribe to, or follow, Unexpected History for more in the future.